We've known the whole time we were right. We've taken a lot of heat for telling the truth, but the evidence, the facts, the truth, that's what we should pursue. It's all there. It's been there. The media doesn't care about any of this. They want President Trump to fail. Otherwise, they would be reporting on this story instead of ignoring it. And now, by the way, they're doing everything they can do to try and discredit it. It's not going to work. Now, here's the thing. Facts are facts. Truth is truth. The media cannot twist and distort truth. And you, the American people, and those of you that have supported this show, we thank you tonight because you, in part, have made this possible. You called your congressmen and congresswomen. You asked them to release the memo, and they did. And sadly, it does shock the conscience. Joining us now, Fox News contributor, investigative reporter, Sarah Carter, Fox News legal analyst, Greg Jarrett, Fox News national security strategist, former deputy assistant to the president, Sebastian Gorka. It was March 8th of last year, you and John Solomon on this show broke the story of a FISA warrant and surveillance of Trump Tower. And how few in the media care to follow what is the biggest abuse and corruption scandal in their lifetime. Sarah. It's it's incredible, Sean, because there was so much evidence out there, little bits of evidence, that if they just latched onto it, they would have been able to see through and seen the truth. And they chose not to. And what's even more incredible is that the Obama administration and people associated with Hillary Clinton, and now we know Fusion GPS, Christopher Steele, Bruce Orr in the DOJ, Sally Yates, Andrew McCabe at the FBI, former director James Comey, they were spreading the disinformation campaign. You know, it was interesting. They tried to say that it was the Russians, but the whole time, <clears throat> based on an unverified and salacious dossier, and those are the words coming out of Comey's own mouth, they use that to spread lies about the Trump campaign to the media and anybody they could try to share it with. And this is what's so incredible. The media bought it. And they chose to ignore the other side. They chose to ask for verification. And the entire precedence of the special counsel was mm -hmm. based on that dossier, according to McCabe. You know, I, I even have testimony. I don't have time to play it all. We have so much information to get out tonight, Greg Jarrett. But remember, when he, Comey, met with Donald Trump, he said it's unverified and it's right. salacious. But two months earlier, he was arguing just the opposite. And, it, and the worst part is they knew where this dossier came from and they never told the FISA court. Criminally speaking, is he in jeopardy tonight? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is just proof uh, of government corruption. And it's sad. The FBI and the Department of Justice, they concealed evidence and they deceived a federal judge. Uh, they knew this was a fabricated document, knew they, it was paid for by Democrats and Hillary Clinton. They knew that the guy who authored it uh, said he was desperate to stop Trump, and yet they used it. They signed a document in front of a judge that said, we vouch for the reliability and authenticity of this document. In other words, they were lying to the judge. That's a crime. 18 U.S.C. 242. You, it's abuse of power. And it's, it's tragic that the people that we expect to uphold and enforce the law are breaking it. This is the proof. So, Sebastian, they, they, this is what they knew. They knew the dossier was false. They knew that Hillary Clinton paid for the dossier. They never told the judge. They knew the guy that was responsible, Steele, hated Donald Trump and didn't want him to win. They knew they couldn't spy on a Trump associate without the dossier. They were shut down the first attempt they tried to get it, and then they got it on the second shot and admit without it they never would have got it. Sean, sure, let's just remember what happened 11 months ago. The president tweeted out that his campaign had been spied upon. He was ridiculed by the left and the mainstream media. We now know not only is it true that he was spied upon by the Obama administration, but the warrant was acquired illegally. I had a chief of police uh, text me today and he said if any of his officers had acquired a warrant while excluding exculpatory information, that officer would be charged with perjury mm -hmm. or abuse of power. Uh, not only that, this is fascinating. Let, let's unwind all of it. Congressman Gates just reminded me, on the 16th of May, Rod Rosenstein ex escorted Robert Mueller to be interviewed by the president to be the director of the FBI again. He failed the interview. The president wanted somebody new. He didn't want a Bush-era a Bush person. The next day, 
May the 17th, after he fails that interview, Rod Rosenstein appoints him as the special counsel to investigate the president. How can he investigate the president in a subjective fashion? And lastly, well, lastly, yeah. um, what about all the congressmen and women who lied about this memo? For four days, they've been telling us it would reveal uh, sources well, and methods. That's, that's par for the course. Yeah, that, right? none of which was no, true. No Poor sources Devin and Nunes. methods. Yeah. All right, let me go to Sarah. Sarah, it was about a year ago you broke this story. My sources tell me this is just the tip of the spear, the tip of the iceberg, and that there's so much more to come. I was given a percentage, about 15 percent of what is coming. What are your sources telling you? You were dead on accurate on March 8th of last year. My sources are telling me it's 10 percent of what is coming. So maybe there's even more, Sean, out there than what we expect. And this is even more important. The investigation is now going to be reversed. I know that members of Congress are going to call for a special counsel to investigate the investigators. There is going to be a number of people involved in this. Also, the information, as you reported, that's going to the IG, they're, they're going to look at criminality here. Was there anything criminal going on? And from what appearances look like, there was. So they lied to the FISA courts, allegedly, and that's what they're going to be looking at. I tell you, Sean, this is just the beginning. This is not right, the end, right. and the investigation is in reverse. Last thoughts. Where is this going? I don't know, but I can tell you a congressional source tells me that Rod Rosenstein in a meeting three weeks ago threatened uh, the Chairman Nunes and uh, wow. members of Congress that he was going to subpoena their texts and messages because he was tired of dealing with the Intel Committee. That's well, threats gotta... and intimidation and retaliation. All of you have been doing the work of the media for an entire year and sharing it with our audience. I can't thank you all enough. Um, I wish it didn't happen, though.